So today I'm doing my summer haul and it was requested so I hope you guys enjoy it. And by the way, it will be in two different parts. The first part will be up hopefully by Tuesday which is today and I'm kind of filming it really late so you know I'm a procrastinator, sorry. And the second part will be up on Saturday and the reason for that is because on Thursday I will be doing my packing video. So be on the lookout for that. And by the way, some really exciting news. I actually created my vlog channel and it is called Life with Desiree. And it was inspired by this girl, which I kind of don't remember her name. So I, I, I'll like insert it here. So thank you. And she didn't tell me to do Life with Desiree. She actually told me to do Life with Desi. But that one was taken, so I just did my actual name. And I kind of like it because it reminds me of Life with Derek. So give this video a thumbs up if you know what show I'm talking about. So I'm going to stop talking and show you all the beauty things that I bought. So the first thing I bought is from Bath & Body Works. And it's just one thing. So it's going to go first. And it's the Beach Cabana Candle. It's like the three wick thing. Um, this isn't like the White Barn collection or anything. It just says Bath & Body Works scented candle. So, since I suck at describing candles, and I just pretty much say they're all good smelling, so um, I'll actually read you the description. It says, the air under a beach cabana is filled with fragrant sweet jasmine, orange blossom, and a hint of fluffy white pillows. It basically just smells really clean and like ocean scented breeze. So then I went to Target and I picked up the Clean and Clear Blackhead Eraser Scrub Salicylic Acid Acne Medication and it's oil free. Then I bought the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in 720A Sunny and I've heard a lot of people talking about this. Next I got the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes and they're just a little blue packaging. They bring seven and I have another one which has like two or three. So this is pretty much perfect for traveling. So I'll be taking these to Spain. Then I got the Johnson's Baby Shampoo and I also got this from the traveling section at Target. And it's just a baby shampoo and I heard it like cleans your brushes. So since the MAC one is so expensive and I'm nearly running out, I decided to try this out and hopefully it will clean them and not damage my brushes because they were very freaking expensive. Next I got the Tresemme used by professionals new advanced technology instantly locks in moisture with vitamin E luxurious moisture for dry or damaged tear shampoo and conditioner and I don't know if these are good but they're the travel mini things and they're just great for traveling so since I don't wash my hair every day or every other day will be perfect to take for Spain. And I got the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser and I've heard a lot about the Cetaphil brand so I decided to try it out. I also picked up the Not Your Mother's Beat the Heat Thermal Shield Spray and this is infused with sunflower and vitamins A and E and this smells so freaking good. And my friend actually got one too. Yeah, so my Tresemme one is running out, so I decided to try it out. The last two things are not from Target, but I got the Nivea Lip Butter in Raspberry Rose Kiss. Now, I this is like throwback because, because I picked this up at CVS way back when I bought the stuff for my giveaway, which was like two, three weeks ago. So then I bought two things from my hairdresser's salon, and the first thing is this Salerm, Salerm, I don't know, Cosmetics Leave-In Conditioner. I've used this since a very long time, and it smells so good. Um, I stopped buying it, but then when she used it, when I cut my hair, I was like, I have to buy it again. So I did. So then I bought the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play Pal Volumizing and Texturizing Powder. So next, I just got the Tarte High Performance Naturals Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color frisky and I heard a lot of like talk about bl these blushes so I decided to try it out and it's a really cute color and I like that it brings the mirror so I'm very excited to try this out next I got the Tarte High Performance Naturals 
Lip Surgeon's Natural Lip Luster in the color Adored. And this is a really, really nice pinky, corally color. The last thing that I bought is a Revlon lip butter in the color Sweet Tart. And it is a very, very pretty pink color. And I'm really excited to use it. I'm like obsessed with pink colors. And if I hoard anything, it's probably lip lipstick. So the last store is very, very exciting. And it's Urban Decay. So the first thing that I bought is this cream blush in the color Quickie. And it's a very, very hot pink color. But it, it definitely tones down once you put it on. Love, love, love the packaging. And by the way, Urban Decay had a sale, so I only paid $6 for it. Then I got the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the color Binge. I'm not going to lie, it was a lot nicer in the photo online, but it's still a very nice indigo color, so I'm not too disappointed. And it was only $9.50. Then I got the All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray by Urban Decay. And what I'm really upset is that, look at this size. Like, what is this? This is not even, this is like a sample size. But um, at least I only paid $6 for it. I think originally it's like $12 or $14. So that is crazy that somebody would pay $14 for this. And I got the Urban Decay Urban Defense Tinted Moisturizer. And it's paraben free. And it has a broad spectrum of... 20 and it just looks like this it's in the color in the shade it's in the shade halo and they only have about like five or six shade selections they all seem pretty good like selections so definitely check it out and it was only nine dollars which was amazing for a freaking tinted moisturizer and then my most favorite purchase was this urban decay palette and I'm not sure if it's the revolver or arms or something like that but it is beautiful it has these four uh, natural shades and then it has four shades that give you a pop of color and then it has a really nice highlighting color and a color that you can kind of use to smoke up your look or add some uh, eyeliner to your top lash. So that was my entire haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did, but if you didn't, still give it a thumbs up because like who doesn't love thumbs up? So I hope you guys have a great, great day. Leave a comment down below if you feel like being nice and giving me some comments. And also don't forget to check out my vlog channel. It will be linked down below, as well as my part two to this haul. On Saturday, it will be in the Dom Bar. So if you're watching this before Saturday, then obviously it won't be in the Dom Bar. But yeah, that is it. I love you guys so, so much. And until next time, bye guys. Inspired by someone who told me to do it. It was inspired. Oh, I was in the zone. <laughs> Salicylic. At ah! <laughs> no, you said the word right. Salicylic acid. It. That's a mouthful. I can't. I can't. I give up.